What's up, everybody? I'm trying to get um, my links together. Is the music too loud? Let me know. I'll turn it down. Music is perfect. Perfect. All right. I'm um, going to post um, some links in the description because I always get questions on where I get my jump rope mat from. I'm also going to include links um, of two of the jump ropes that I use. Man. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to be jump roping for 30 minutes and just trying to track how many calories I can burn in 30 minutes time. Um, one second here. Oh, actually, I can post all three of my ropes. I should have did this beforehand, but no. Almost, uh, how's everyone doing? Good afternoon. I just woke up, um... I know y'all looking at me squatting at the computer. I just woke up um, a couple hours ago and really just been trying to get this stream set up. I'm excited for tonight, for our movie night. But I definitely wanted to get um, a little workout in today. All right, so one more link and then I'll get started. fitness class today after work did my workout this morning after jumping off the boy at school that's what's up I'm glad y'all get me in make sure y'all drink y'all water speaking of which oh let me get some water myself Thank you. 
Here we go. All right. Here we go. Alright, so I'm trying to about the eating rope. Um, this is like the easiest rope to jump with. I'm the most consistent with it, so that's why I like to sew up with it. My ankles are kind of short and all that squat in there. Alright, nothing crazy, just trying to be consistent. your jump rope is, you want to keep your hands near your pockets and use your wrist and not your whole arm to jump. jump rope too. I will be jump roping today. Take it easy y'all. Jump roping is not uh, easy on the joints. Right now my, my feet is kind of hurting. I'm a little rusty. Haven't been jump roping consistently like I'm supposed to. If you can, try to get you some inserts for your shoes uh, for comfort and arch support and shock absorption and make sure to wear very um, lightweight shoes, nothing too bulky or heavy. Because that'll impede your jump rope in. Alright, let me let me try some double under before I get too tired. It's frozen. I'm using the beating rope right now. It's linked in the uh, description. Yeah, I ain't doing no, um, I ain't doing the weighted ropes. I'm good on that for right now. For me, um, I'm really just trying to build more endurance and consistency and, um, just trying to get, just really trying to get my rhythm together so I can jump rope consistently. Can you do the mic release? I'm still trying to get it. I cannot. I tried it the first couple of weeks and I just kind of gave up. It's really important though um, that you have the right length of rope. Um, and I found that I did it a couple times, but I'm just not consistent. You want to try to get the motion of just kind of whipping it around vertically and then um, I can't do it because I got too much stuff in here but let me see yeah I ain't gonna be able to do it in here if I lost me break the damn TV let me just catch up somewhere hold on let me see See, look at that. Mm -mm. We're going to leave that alone, but no, I can't do it. 
Alright. I'm trying to keep my heart rate up above 130 and it's too late for this. Let me get back in here. I can do, um, I can do the arm rack, and that's where you cross your arm behind your back and let the rope wrap around, so my right arm goes behind my back after I jump, wrap, bring it over, wrap, and then continue jumping. I will start off with that, something really simple and easy. Once you can get the hang of doing that consistently. Well, shit. <laughs> now I'm on camera, I can't do it right. Yeah, I can't do it right for some reason. Um, it's kind of hard crossing behind the back, so you want to grab at the base of the handle, so that way when you cross it, it's poking out um, behind your side. So. Like that. And then you can unwind it, keep jumping, so. Uh. Um, a couple people ask why do I have knots um, near my handles. So the knots um, for PVC rope just helps give it some added weight so it's easier for you to whip the rope around with the, um, the concentration of weight to it so that's why I do it. Oh, my dog's barking now, boy. Don't try to go nonstop. If you need to walk it off, take a break, give your joints a second to recover. It's not a race, it's a marathon. Um, another thing um, that I want to mention is um, you want to make sure you have the right size of rope for your height. So you do need to make adjustments. So if you stand on the center of your rope with both feet, it should come up to like right under your uh, your chest or your breast, it should come up right under it. Some people say like all the way up to the armpit. That's a little too long for me. Um, maybe it's easier for beginners, but I like it right, right 
around here, like right around my nipple length. Or um, I don't know what you would call it. It's just enough length to where it kisses the ground, but it's not like swacking it, like dragging across the ground. You want it to just skim the ground so it doesn't make the rope pop up too much. And it also makes rotating the dirt rope easier. Is that what it is? Yeah, you can definitely put knots if the rope is a little too long. I usually trim it according to size. Uh, so it's not too many knots just kind of floating around the rope. All right. Come on, brother. Let's get back into it. in the description it's like $30 or so yeah it's in the description Stay here in my legs when jump roping. It could be the length of the rope. It could be your timing. Um, I just try to have consistent a consistent rhythm. So whenever you're trying to build speed, when I used to play on the cello, you always practice and learn the music at a slower pace. And once you get very comfortable playing at a slower tempo, then you gradually speed it up a little bit more. So for you, you might start off with double hops. Once you get the double hops, single hops, and then take it a little bit faster. Use the sound of the rope hitting the floor. Help gauge the speed of the rope and how fast you need to jump it. Also, when you're jumping, try not to really dig down and, and bend too much. You do want to use your knees to um, stabilize it as you land. You want to stay on the balls of your feet for the most part and keep your hops really short and light. 
The rope should literally just hit right underneath your feet. You shouldn't feel it. So since it took me about five to ten minutes to just start jump roping, I'm gonna go until the stream hits forty minutes, and I'm gonna call it quits because I'm tired. Slow down the tempo if you feel yourself getting tired. Like I said, it's not a race. You just want to stay active, stay moving as much as possible. If you got it in you, do that quick little burst and jump faster, do it. But don't push yourself. You know your comfort level. You know where you're at. It's there for you to go longer without making a mistake than it is to try to force yourself to jump faster than you're able to and make a mistake and tire yourself out. Like I'm doing now, right? I'm not. I like doing um, the boxer set where you kind of hop from foot to foot. That kind of gives, it, it might be a little hard for some people, but I find that it kind of gives my my feet and my ankles a little bit of a break in between each jump instead of hopping on both feet. It's, you're able to do kind of a lighter bounce. So you find your feet starting to get a little more fatigued. Try switching up your jumping style. Thank <laughs> you. 
Switching to my wire rope. Now for beginners, if your technique is good and tight, on um, the beater rope, or at least decent, it doesn't have to be like exceptional. But if you're decent, you can move to the wire rope. And I have a reel, a short, YouTube short that describes the difference between all the ropes. But um, I'm really, really trying to get good with this. And to incre increase my speed on this one, it's hard enough. So y'all gonna see me mess this one up a lot. <sighs> Shit, look at my ass. This shit hurt. This shit hurt. Nah, I'm too tired for this. I'm going back to my feet. Oh yeah, it, it stings. That shit will hit your leg, it'll hit your arm. Don't jump barefoot with that one. too late. I think that's what it is. My is uh, The sweat rang in my eye. It burns. I'm jumping rough. I gotta have a fan. Sometimes it feels like the fan ain't another. I feel you. I tried jump roping outside. I said, hell no, not again. And I had the fan right in my face. After a while, you don't feel it. Like you said. Oh. All right. Come on. 
give him at least a good five minutes. You do that. Five minutes. Second slow. It's not waiting. I ain't, I ain't pulling up the waiting rope. Oh, hold on. I'm getting lazy. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna sit down. Sit your ass down. using the same or uh, post it in the description and I got links for them as well. I'm going back to my my PGC.
Oh, I'm tired. Everything hurts. It hurts. You're in a happy place. You're on the beach. Feeling the wind of your hair. I mean, your beard. I'm at the beach. I'm at the beach. I'm at the beach. I'm at the beach. I'm being watched. First thing, he needs the milk. No last one. No last one.
Thank y'all for, for encouragement, the love, the support. I'm happy with my little workout. Almost did 500. Almost did 500 calories. And, oops, excuse me. And I try to keep my heart rate above 130. It looked like for the most part, I kept it over 140, around 150, 160. So, I, I'm content with that. Hopefully, I'll find this inspiring, encouraging, helping to push your health weight loss journey as well. Take your time. If you jump real thing, get back into it. It is incredibly frustrating when you first pick it up. Just stick with it. Start with a minute a day. Add a minute each day. The more you feel more comfortable. And before you know it, you'll be jumping over for 10, 15 minutes. And you'll be like, wait, did I just do that? So take your time. Have your water. Have a light little snack or meal beforehand. Because my ass didn't. That's why I got lightheaded and shit. And, um... That's it. All right. See y'all on the loose Thanks so much for watching the video. And be blessed.